the plane, we love us with the band who wrote the song that gave rise to this fantastic groundbreaking quiz. That's good sales piece, that. Good sales piece, right. So, yeah, just edging me best. And uh, I said, the Manic Street Preachers, and we're uh, going to start with uh, James. All right, James. Hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank uh, you very much. Are you? Right, okay. <laughs> uh, where are you? Uh, in my living room. Are you right? Okay. Where do you live? Do you live in, in London? I live down in the big smoke here. Yeah. Do you? Right. I'm okay. a traitor. Well, right, okay then. Last time I saw you, you were here. I know I was, yeah. Yeah. Turn, yeah. keep my hand in, keep right. the wolf from the door. Absolutely, right. Turn the plane 9X this weekend in Mank? Certainly, yeah. I'm revved yep. up for that then? For that? Are you revved up for that? <laughs> yeah, brum brum. Brum brum. Okay, right. they are conclusive proof. Hey, brum brum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Okay, so uh, now then, a foot spa, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. And you could pick it up at the weekend, you see, you're passing through, so it all fits perfectly. So, mm, uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of eating the best of my chronic bunch of athlete's foot. <laughs> right, okay, very nice to see the secrets of the stars revealed. Get it all in, aren't you? Are you ready to play, James? Say to me, I'm. All right, then. Name the photographer responsible for the photos on the sleeve of Gold Against the Soul. Mitch Aikida. That's right! Yay! One out of one. Last December, you played three gigs in London at three different venues. Those three venues, please. Uh, uh, Brixton Academy. That's right, that's one. Bush Empire. Yep. And the Forum. Yep, yep. Yay! Forum. The Forum, Kenny Stout, Shepherds Bush Empire and the Brixton Academy. Uh, two out of two. How are you on remembering the track listings of your own records? Uh, Any good? Come see, come saw. All right, then. We'll say, uh, name the last four tracks on Generation Terrorists. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're good, these, aren't uh, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down now. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> um, I mean, I'm... Uh, 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 We're very calm at this end. Damn dog. What? Damn dog. No. Last four tracks. Last four tracks. I'm sure it's damn dog. What do you say? Crucifix Kiss. Kiss Kiss. Yeah. That's done pretty. Yeah. Condemned to rock and roll. And Democracy Karma. No, no, no. That's, no, that's Japanese um, ex Im import thing. Oh. oh. Technical edge. All right, then you get that. That one. was the second part of the question on the Japanese import thing. Technical Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. okay. They're right. Three out of three. Who played keyboards on Motorcycle Emptiness? Oh. Spike it. No, no, no. Richard. Richard. Oh, fucking hell. What's it? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, go on, Lizzie. You're struggling with this one. <laughs> Richard what? Um, uh, oh, no, you're going wrong. Richard Cottle. Ooh. Oh, the son of Jerry Cottle from the circus. All right. Apparently. Okay. I don't know. Uh, right, now then, last year, on the 11th of May issue of the NME, who shared the front cover with you? Uh, Jarvis and Noel. Now, Louise Weller. Ooh. Ooh. Is it? Mm. That's wrong. Well, we'll check that and we'll, uh, we'll reveal that tomorrow. All right, then. Uh, we have that on reliable. Th but, you know, if you say it's wrong, we will certainly check no, it out. Jarvis and Noel. Was it Jarvis and Noel? Mm. Right, OK. Well, have a look. How's it since it's that long ago, was it? That was the one after the Brat Awards. Oh, I thought, oh, yeah. That was the one after the Brat Awards, wasn't it? I think this one, 11th of May. I think you find it was Louise Renner. But we will check it. We will check okay. it. Anyway. All right, then. Well, hey, flipping out, you've got to. Uh, you've been on twice and uh, both times it's been great fun. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> All right, James, thanks for playing. you got three out of five. I don't think that's a foot spa, but we'll see how we go. All right, then. Bye-bye. All right, thanks for joining us, James Dean Bradfield. Yay! Oh, 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 dear, James. Yes, yes, once again, we come to play. We love us. Radio's top and most quiz. That's not trivial, her skew. Aye. So, uh, that's a good selling pitch, isn't it? Right, here we go. Yesterday, uh, we had uh, James Dean Bradfield on from the Mannix, and today we should have Sean Moore. Hello, Sean. How are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. All right. Then, are you usually up at this time? I mean, are you kind of... Because we've had a sort of different... Like, the first few weeks, we had bands who said, oh, it's much too early for me, you know, and all that. And last week, we had Radio Ed, we were all getting up, kind of flying kites and things. So, which, which camp do you fall in? Well, I'm up about, sort of, uh, a quarter of an hour earlier than I usually am, so it's yeah. not too bad. That's not too bad, is it? Where are you this morning? Are you at home? I'm at home, yeah. Where do you live? Bristol. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice there. What, Clifton? 
No, no, that's no. Of, sort of down in the south. All oh, right, okay then. <laughs> uh, right, so uh, now then, a lot of people uh, also don't know that you are a highly skilled multi instrumentalist, aren't you? Well, I try my best. You anyway. Try. I mean, Kevin Carter, the trumpet. I mean, people don't. That was you, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a brilliant song. It sounds like Herb Alpert. It's just, uh, it's pristine. Um, now then, I've heard a rumor that I can't believe that uh, Nicky Wire, right, has become a big fan and he's spending all his time playing golf. Tell us it's not true. Well, a big fan of golf or a big fan of uh, your show? No, not oh, golf. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, <laughs> golf. Golf. Is, it, is, is Nicky, you know, the man who was the personification, the embodiment of all things rock and roll, please tell us that he's not playing golf. He's always been a big golf fan. Has he? Really? Yeah, Ian Woosnam is his favourite player. Ooh. Is he? Surprise, surprise. Well, he's uh, another other famous rock and roll golf, Iggy Pop. I know. Yeah. Alice <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> I mean, you know. What's um, going on? Extraordinary, extraordinary. Uh, right, now then, yesterday we had a bit of a, an argument with James because he said he sort of contested the answer. So can you tell him that you did, on the 11th of May, 1996, share the cover of The Enemy with Louise when out of Sleeper? Right. I've, yeah. got, I've got the cover here. Okay. So, so we'll try. So he got three yesterday, and uh, so you've got to be that, and you can win a lovely fuss bar. I've gone already. Oh, have you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, anybody... Well, double up. Yeah, can double up, you see. I mean, have you, you know, I mean... behind each foot. Yeah. For each foot. Have you got one of them double bass drum pedals? Uh, no, I haven't. You haven't. Well, you see, I thought you could have a double bass drum pedal, double foot spars behind a kit. <laughs> Nice, wasn't it? Well, a bit rock and roll for me. Yeah, okay. a bit rock and roll. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to give you it if you win. Right, okay. What song are these lyrics from, Sean? I repent, I'm sorry. Everything is falling apart. Houses as ruins and gardens as weeds. Oh, God. Um, it's one of yours. Small black flowers. This is yesterday off the Holy Bible. Oh. Oh. All right, don't worry. You can still beat uh, James. Which football team did Nicky have a trial for after he captained the Welsh under 16s in 1984? God, it's London, hard. London football team. Um, Big Arsenal. Yes. Hey! Hey! Arsenal is the correct answer, and we move on. What is James's date of birth? 21st of the second, 69. Is the right hey! answer. Hey! Hey! Don't bother at all. I mean, you are related for people who don't know that, are you? Um, yeah. Your cousin, eight cousins? Yeah. Right, okay, fair enough. Uh, how many questions have we got? Three, two out of three. Right, here we go. Where did you play your first London gig? Great Portland Street. Yep, right. Can you, yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll give you a half for that, but right. can you remember the name of the club or pub? Um, oh. Oh. Uh, something like... Mm, well, I'll tell you. I'll do the. I'll do. I'll do the last question, and we'll and we'll, uh, we'll come back to that. Oh, right. right. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Okay. What number did a Design for Life debut at in the UK charts? Uh, two. Two is the right. Yeah. Answer. Yeah. So you've got you've got three and a half. You're beating James. I'll give you the half point if that name of that club or pub has come to you. No. Top hat, white hat. Mm. Horse. White horse. Oh, horse. Oh, horse. Horse and crew. Horse and crew. Yeah. That's a four in my book. You got there in the end. All right, then. OK, well, nice talking to you. All right, thanks a lot. And, uh, you know, uh, we'll see how Nicky goes on tomorrow. Golfing Nicky. And uh, if he wins... Uh, well, well, obviously, I'm staying the obvious here, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. It's more than four, isn't it? All right, Sean, thanks for playing. Thanks a lot. Cheers. All right, see you Sean Mark, the Manics has four points. Wow. Oh, wee! Sunday. Is it Sunday? It's right. Sunday, all yeah. Day. All right, yeah, all day. Uh, right, then, now are we going to do We Love Us and we reach the uh, grand climax because it's been the Manic Street Preachers all this week. Yes. And uh, today, a third out of three, uh, we meet and greet Nicky Wire. All right, Nicky. Hello. How are you? I'm not too bad. All oh, right, it sounds a bit subdued, or is it that we just, uh, we're just sort of pain in the ass DJs and we've been shouting all morning? It's full fight this, this time in the morning. It's not uh, good for your health, is uh, it? I don't know. I mean, you're up early, aren't you? Because you're always out on a golf course. I only get up this early at Christmas morning when I'm all excited. <laughs> all excited. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> and now they've had it. Alex, Joe and Charlotte have uh, written in from Spalding in Lincolnshire to say hello to you and say that uh, Alex offers his services as your golf caddy. <laughs> So, have you got a caddy full-time now? <laughs> no, Sean does it down again. <laughs> so, right. yeah. so, what is all this about golf, then? Come on. Golf is the supreme test of the intellect. It's the way to spoil a good walk, Nicky. <laughs> oh, to quote Peter Alice, sir. I, I mean, it's, just, uh, it's just dull, isn't it? 
No, it's beauty fall. Is and it? the clothes, especially. Well, the, clothes. the clothes, yeah, the clothes. Good call. So are you going to be wearing, like, you know, plus fours and Pringle sweaters on stage at 9X? I've always wore Pringle. Oh, right, there you go. Then there's an endorsement deal in the offing there, I would have thought. <laughs> and, uh, well, Tiger Woods, is he as good as people say he is, as if I'm interested? He is superb, but I still think head to head against Faldo, Faldo will have him. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well said, right. Uh, now, listen, uh, do you, uh, are you pretty much teetotal these days? Yeah. Are uh, yeah, right. Was that just because you got into big difficulties on the pop? <laughs> Back on the pop, yeah, it was. I got a bit of a dodgy liver. Right. A long and boring story. I know, no, we won't go into it, although God knows we've had enough long and boring stories on this programme. But, I mean, so, so do you miss it at all? Yeah, I do, but, you know, it's just one of the pains of my existence. Yeah, all one right. of the many. Well, that and golf. That and golf. Only joking, Mickey. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> right, all right, then. Well, uh, now then, uh, James got three and Sean got four, so uh, you're going to have to go five, obviously. I always say this, and people are quite capable of working this out. Clever. <laughs> all right, uh, shall we play, Nicky? Okay. All right, then. Uh, the, now, there's a lyrics question to get you on, though, because, uh, you know, good chance you wrote these. <laughs> what song are these lyrics taken from? No innocent exit when hope dies and claustrophobia buys my mind. I ran to breathe contagious lies. No reason for just living life. Condemned to rock and roll. Is the right answer. Yeah. Uh, when you played Downing College's Mayball at Cambridge University, yeah. how much did punters have to pay for a ticket? Oh, Do you know? In Swansea. Um, uh, uh, down oh, in, in, in Cambridge. 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 Oh, it must be a lot. It was a lot, yeah. It was a dinner jacket kind of thing, you know? 200? Uh, 200 quid? 500 uh, quid? Uh, 150. Oh, no. 150. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, right, okay. On April the 29th, 1991, you played a support gig for First Offence in Manchester. Do you remember that? I do. Okay, can you remember the venue? I think it was the boardwalk. It was the boardwalk! Yay! It was indeed the boardwalk. That right, okay then. There you are. And they were crap. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, okay, name the poet and poem printed on the back cover of Gold Against the Soul. It's... Songs for the something by Primo Levi. <laughs> Song of those who died in vain. That's the one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll give you that one right. Now then, here it is. You can tie with Sean. Oh, no. <laughs> Try and get this wrong, because we're fed up with tiebreakers. Um, uh, what was the price tag on Jenny Savile's painting, Strategy, which was featured on the cover of the Holy Bible when it was flogged off? How much was that? Oh. Fifteen grand. Oh! You're not even close, actually. What was it? It was 30. Oh. It was 30! Oh, mate. That's, that was a brave stab at it, but you got three. Same as James, so uh, there's no disgrace Sean there. Sean deserves it. Hey? Sean deserves he's it. Already got Sean, he's already got one, though. So, you know, I mean, like, get round to his house and you can have the old one. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? I'm just trying to promote interband harmony here. So, uh... <laughs> he put the hours in. <laughs> yeah, all right, then. All right, Nicky, well, uh, enjoy yourself at night next. I shall. Uh, we're going to Barcelona for the weekend, so it's now personal life. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and it's, it's going to be fantastic and everybody's well revved up for it, so uh, have a good one. Okay, thank you. Right. See you soon. Right. Thanks Bye. very much. Bye. Mickey Wire! Wee! 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 Woo! Oh, thank goodness we had a clear winner. Yep. Congratulations to Sean Moore. Now, uh, that's what being in showbiz is all about. He's got two footballs. Woo!